here's five things I hate about my 2014 BMW 520D. First things first, the sound. Just listen to this. Don't get me wrong, diesel comes with a lot of benefits like having more torque, being more efficient, being more reliable, but there's no way around the fact that it sounds like a truck and there's nothing you can do about it. The second thing that I really hate about this car and it has happened to me twice, is that the steering column cover in this car no longer can seal properly. And so whenever it's raining, a lot of water gets into the cabin and it's just a mess. I've had to change it twice and uh, it's really annoying because one day it's raining and your feet are wet, uh, your passenger's feet are wet. You, there's like, for me, uh, over like, like almost like five centimeters of water was just sitting in the car and I had no idea what it was for until I took it to the mechanic and they explained this issue to me. And it's something really annoying and I really hated about the F10. The third thing that I really don't like about this car is the steering feel, or should I say lack thereof. Don't get me wrong, it's okay. Uh, you do have some feeling of the road, but uh, compared to the G30, the newest generation, that thing is just very numb. But compared to the older generations uh, that have the hydraulic power steering, this thing with the electronic power steering does not give you a lot of road feel. Fourth point that I hate about this car is that it drives like a boat. And if you don't have coilovers or at least some kind of aftermarket suspension uh, and good tires and everything, it does not handle the way that it should. But in terms of cornering, I think it can do a lot better with aftermarket suspension and roll bars. And that's just a fact. Oh God! Yeah. Bonus point, Sherry. What don't you like about this car? For some reason, every time when I get out of this car, I feel like I have to pull all of my energy out of my body to get out. It. I don't know. It's not that low. It's not that. I don't know. It looks like a normal car, but for some reason, the seating position is like that. That you have to, you know, pull your whole body out, and I really don't like it. I don't know why. It's just. It's just how it is. Okay, the last point that I absolutely hate about this car and it's true for all of the F chassis generation is the absolutely cheap interior. I mean, look at this. This thing, I've had to change it because when you park your car under the sun, this thing, this thing melts and it sticks to your hand and it's disgusting and you never have to like what, like, why couldn't they use some other material that doesn't melt, right? And this, and this, and this, and this. This, 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 this. Why does it have to... And this, and this noisy little thing are just very annoying and when this car came out it was really expensive and why do they have to use so many cheap materials in the interior i don't get it uh, if you like the video make sure to hit the like button it's gonna help out my channel by a lot how many likes should we should this video get somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion 300 million billion